for this tutorial, you'll need a size 6 chunky yarn. I'm using this light pink color and a white for the ears. You'll need a 5.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, and a yarn needle to sew the ears on. And you're also going to need your light teeny to measure. So starting with the light pink yarn, I'm going to start by making a slip knot. Get that on your hook. And then I'm going to start with a chain of 22. Once you have your 22 chains, you can push your hook through that first chain and end with a slip stitch. For row one, we're gonna chain one, and then we're gonna start with a single crochet in that first same chain. So that's one single crochet. And we're just gonna pop one single crochet in each chain all the way around. So we should be left with 22 single crochet stitches. Also, you don't have to do this, but I carried my yarn tail over, so I just single crocheted over it by pinching it behind my stitches like that, and then making my single crochet right on top of it. So that just makes it so that we don't have to weave that in at the end. So once you have 22 stitches in total, we're gonna slip stitch to the very first single crochet stitch. So push your hook through the first stitch, complete your slip stitch. So for row two, we're gonna chain one, and we're gonna start this row with one single crochet in that same first stitch. And we're going to make nine more single crochet stitches. So you should have 10 single crochet stitches in total. And now in the 11th stitch, we're going to make an increase. So we're just going to pop two single crochet stitches into that next stitch. So there's our first single crochet. And now we're going to pop another one into that same stitch. So that's one increase. And now for the rest of the row, we're going to make another 10 single crochet. And then in the very last stitch, we're going to make another increase. And we've reached our very last stitch, so we're going to make our increase in that last stitch. So make two single crochet in that same last stitch. So make sure you have 24 stitches and then slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet. And that's row two done. So now you can just chain one. And for row three, you're just going to make 24 single crochet. So that's one in each stitch all the way around, starting with that very first single crochet. Once you've completed row three, you should still be left with 24 single crochet. And you can slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet. And now for row four, we're just gonna chain one, and we're gonna start with six single crochet. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're gonna stop here, immediately turn your work, and we're gonna continue to make six single crochet stitches. So you don't have to chain one at the end here. You can just go directly into that first stitch and make another six single crochet.
we're just gonna be repeating this six single crochet and then turning our work and making another six single crochet on top until we have a total of 35 rows. So once you've done those 35 rows of six single crochet, it's gonna look something like this. And at this point, we're gonna start to single crochet along the side of the base right here. So we're just gonna pop one single crochet in the next space between the rows. And we're gonna continue to make one single crochet in each space that we see until we reach the base. So I just single crocheted all the way down the side. Now at this point, I'm going to make one single crochet in the first stitch that's at the base right here. And then I'm gonna make five more. So you have a total of six single crochet just at the base here. At this point, you can pull up a loop and then you're gonna flip this inside out. I already weaved in my yarn tail at the beginning, so I'm just gonna snip that off. So going back to the side piece, we're gonna push our hook through the seventh single crochet here from the left. So two, four, six, those are the six single crochet that you made. You're going into that very first stitch that you made on the side. So push your hook through there. And then we're gonna pull that loop that we made through that stitch. So I'm gonna tighten that up and then just pull it through like this. And now we're gonna pinch these sides together and we're gonna be attaching these with slip stitches. So push your hook through the front loop only on this front piece, like that. And then in the first stitch on the back piece, push your hook through the back loop only. So go right on top of that stitch and just go through that back loop. And then you can yarn over and pull through all three loops. We're gonna repeat that for the next five stitches to attach this. So go through the front loop only of the front piece and then the back loop only on the back piece. So you have three loops on your hook and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. And then just repeat that for the rest of the stitches. After you've made those six slip stitches, you can pull up a loop again and just flip it back to the right side. So this is the side where we single crochet all around and then you can flip it over and here's your loop and you can get that back on your hook and we're gonna end by single crocheting all around again, starting with six single crochet at the base. So that's the stitch that we just came out of. So we're gonna push our hook through the next stitch and start making our six single crochet. Once you have those six single crochet at the base, we can start to single crochet along the side to finish this off. So just go into the next space 
and start to single crochet. So I just completed those single crochet stitches along the side. Now to finish this off, you can just push your hook through that very first single crochet you made at the base and then just complete with a slip stitch. And I like to chain one here and then you can snip that off. Just snip it long enough so that you can weave in the end. At this point, you can slide this onto your light teeny and make sure that it fits snugly all the way around. And now we can get started on the ears. So starting with the white yarn, I'm going to start with a slip knot. Chain 9. Once you have 9 chains, we're gonna single crochet, starting with the second chain from the hook. We're gonna make one single crochet in each chain so that we have eight single crochet. After you've made eight single crochet, you can turn your work. We're gonna start with one single crochet in each stitch for seven of the stitches. And now in the very last stitch, we're gonna make three single crochet. So there's your first one, make two more in the same stitch. So once you've made those three, we're gonna single crochet along this side of the chains now, just end with eight single crochet. So that's just one single crochet in each space. And that's it for the white part. At this point, I just like to chain one, snip a short tail, and now repeat this with the pink yarn. So I just repeated that process with the pink yarn. So now we're gonna take our pink piece and our white piece, and we're gonna lay them so that the wrong sides are facing each other. Grab your working yarn, and now we're gonna push our hook through the first stitch on the white piece first, and then push your hook through that last stitch you made on the pink piece. And then we're gonna start with one single crochet. So yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. And now we're just gonna make seven more single crochet to start to close this up. And we're gonna do it the same way. So push your hook through the white piece and through the pink piece. So you've made eight single crochet in total. Now, for the next two stitches, we're actually gonna be making increases. So push your hook through the next stitches, both on the white and the pink piece, and then make one single crochet, and make another single crochet through those same stitches. So you have two single crochet through those same stitches. And now for the next stitch, do the same thing. Make one single crochet and make another single crochet through the same stitch. So you have two increases there. 
And now for the remaining eight stitches, we're just gonna do exactly what we did on this side and just make one single crochet going through both pieces. So now your two pieces are connected. Now for the last row of the ears, you're gonna chain one, turn your work, and we're gonna start with eight half double crochet. So to half double crochet, you yarn over, push your hook through that first stitch, yarn over, pull through, so that you have three loops on your hook, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops. That's a half double crochet. So make seven more. So you have eight half double crochet. So the pattern for the next four stitches is gonna be one half double crochet, increase, one half double crochet, increase. So make one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then make two half double crochet stitches in the next stitch. So that's one, and then make another one in the very same stitch. And then repeat that. So one half double crochet in the next stitch, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. And then you can end off this round with eight half double crochet in the remaining stitches. So we're done with the ear at this point. I just like to chain one here. Snip a tail long enough to sew it to the base. So go ahead and make two of these for the ears. For these little ends here, I like to just snip them a little bit and then tuck them into the bottom like this. And then before I start to sew this on, I like to thread my yarn needle. Pinch the bottom together like this. And then I'm just gonna go through back and forth a few times to sew this bottom part together. So once you've made two of those, I'll show you how to sew it to the base. So I like to sew these on while the base is on my latini so I can see where the center is. So go ahead and locate the center. Mine's gonna be right here. And I'm gonna take my yarn needle. I'm gonna start with the ear that's gonna be on the right. So this is my center right here. I'm gonna mark it here with my needle. And then I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm gonna go through the stitch. I'm gonna go through the row that's right on the right of my center. And then just push that through underneath the row and pull through. And that just marks where I want to sew this ear onto. And then I'm gonna hold it there with my finger. And then I'm just gonna start to go under the ear and then under the row. Go under the ear, pull that through, and then go under the row. And I'm gonna do that all around the ears.
So your ear's gonna look something like that once it's sewn on, and then I'm just gonna sew the other one right next to it using the same guidelines. So once your ears are all sewn on, this is what it's gonna look like. And your Lightini cover is complete. So if you like this tutorial, please let me know in the comments. Please let me know what other tutorials you guys would like to see. If you're going to see ATs on their tour, I'm going to be there on July 30th in Atlanta. So I hope to see some of you guys there. If you want to purchase one of these Lightini covers, I have them available on my Etsy shop. And I have ones available for each of the members, so each of the NETs. Also, if you make this, please tag me on Instagram at Alina Crochets, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bye.